This is a video from the World Championship in Italy 2021. You will see some of today's big stars in angling, you will also see some nice fish getting caught. But mainly you will follow the Swedish team during the practice week leading up to the match. Have in mind that this is filmed by me and my teammates as we are preparing for the match, so don't expect it to be a professional production. And if you want to support my channel, Please subscribe. Thank you. But now, let's start from the beginning. We drove from Sweden in two cars with two trailers, arriving late Saturday evening after about 24 hours of traveling. When going to a championship, you don't really know exactly what the fishing will be like. So we bring a lot of fishing gear, and then you end up using just a small part of it. So, on Sunday morning we needed to unload our trailers and just keep the stuff that we were going to use the next day. We also needed to go to the local tackle shop to collect our ground bait and we also wanted to go and have a look at the river we were going to fish. So, it would be a busy Sunday. If you like float fishing, I think almost every tackle shop in Europe has a better supply than the average Swedish tackle shop. So, when we get abroad, we always find a lot of all those small little things that we can't find at home. Then we went to the garage below the shop to collect our ground bait that our sponsor Sensas had brought there. And when we got back to our house, we needed to sort the boxes so we could keep track of what we were using during the week. What did you say, Matthias? Was it meter away my nötskal? <laughs> then we went to have a look at the venue. In 1996 I fished my first world championship right here in Mincio. I was the only one from the Swedish team that had fished here before and the venue looked more or less the same as I remembered it. Some teams were at the bank preparing their equipment for the practice week that starts tomorrow. This is really a lovely fishing arena, but would there be any fish? The information we got beforehand wasn't sure of this. As you can see, the first tackle tents were already set up and even though you already own a ton of fishing gear, you will always find some more things you didn't know you needed. Then we went back to our house and started preparing for tomorrow's practice. Now, let the practice week begin. Monday is the first day of practice before the match starts on Saturday. We were all setting up our poles and our bolo rods, eager to start fishing just to get the feel for the water and also to see if we were able to catch any fish at all. Soon we were prepared to start fishing and I think we were all taken by surprise as the floats went under in the first drifts. We had the bites coming more or less all day but we also missed a lot of bites. We think that many of the missed bites were those really small fish of about 5 grams each that we caught occasionally. Our catches were mainly scardala which is a kind of rod but also the odd sun perch, ordinary perch and a few chub. The fishing was a lot different to what it was like when I went here in 1996. Now there were a lot more smaller fish of about 20 to 50 grams. We soon found out that feeding regularly was a key to keeping the small scardala interested. It also seemed that Sticky Mag worked fine and Thomas was the one of us feeding most consistently with Sticky Mag. He caught a few chub just uh. outside his pole line, but he caught the biggest one on the pole. Mm. 
Thomas is using a 0.09 mm hook length and a size 21 hook. Usually we don't fish this fine in Sweden, so we need to be careful playing the fish. Got fem såna på tävlingen så är du med i matchen. <laughs> ja, det är lång tid. Här kör jag med. En liten 21 en hullinglös. Ja. Det har aldrig varit bra för att alltid titta så där för mycket. Jag har testat det lite grann men det var flera år sedan. I kept feeding balls of ground bait and didn't use any sticky mag at all. I caught scardula all day but had no contact with any big fish at all. Okay, nu ska vi alltså väga in Marcus här. Alltså inte Marcus då, utan Marcus fisk. Thomas had our best catch this first day with about 5.5 kilos. Inte illa? Det var bra. Kan stänga av kameran. Det här kommer du få sota för länge. 680. Grr! Men det var inklusive vågen, eller? Jag har dryckt den längst strandkanten, han kallas för Kungsgardula. Får se om det stämmer. Vad hade de för första där? 5-8 det Thomas. Ett tusen niohundraåttio. Kommentar på det här, det var gott om småfisk. Jag fick mer fisk idag än vad jag hade väntat mig att jag skulle få hela flit på hela veckan faktiskt. Så det var väldigt positivt. After the first day of practice we thought that we should ball it in with six to eight big balls on the pole line. On the bolo line we would just put a few smaller balls of ground bait and then if we decide to fish that line we were going to feed it more regularly. Since Thomas had a few chub yesterday using stick mag, we decided to use more of it today. I decided to cup every sticky mag ball just to make sure they fell right where I wanted them. Thomas was into a nice chub almost immediately. Again, with very fine gear, it's necessary to play the fish gently. Suddenly, he realizes that his lucky hat is not on his head. Better put that back in place before you lose the fish, Thomas. Sometimes when it went quiet we found that if we drifted further down the swim we could pick up a few more fish. One theory was that it was the ground bait breaking up too early and leaving a trail downstream. But it was a bit hard to make any secure conclusion. It could also be that the bottom was sloping or that there were grass on the bottom further down that held the fish. 
After six or seven scardola, I had my first chub. Was it a cupping of sticky mag that attracted a chub? You can't say for sure after just one fish, can you? But I believe it was. It's really great to be away fishing for the national team, but it is also a lot of hard work. I usually hate fishing under my umbrella, but I thought that if I'm going to keep focus all week, I can't be totally overheated each day. So I decided that it's better to sit in the shade during the week, even though the umbrella is obstructing me a little. I see now, as I watch the video clips from this day, that the feeding is too slow compared to what we decided later on in the week. Since Thomas had a few chub on the bolo the first day, I thought that I had to try that method as well. We were still struggling to figure out what was working and what was not. First I tried a few drifts on the same line as the pole, just to see that my rig was working. And it was. Then I tried fishing further out and was soon into a better fish. I first thought it was a chub, but it turned out to be a 200 gram perch. When I ran the bolo down the 13 meter line, I often had a scardula, but further out I only had a perch so far. Marcus tried a heavier rig of 8 grams, a rig made for fishing in Sweden. He had an immediate response and caught some fish on it. I went over just to get some of them on film. But as I turned up with the camera, the fish were gone and he only caught this small one. After many casts, I finally had another fish on my 28 meter bolo line. Okay, Morten. This time it was a decent chub. Let's shut up something. Can it be a bear? Maybe? Yeah. So, I set it. Here you can see the elder man in the Swedish team, Anders Tasby, playing a big chub. Anders was part of the first ever Swedish national angling team to participate in the world championship. I asked Anders if he had any pictures from then, so let's take a look in Anders's photo album. 
In 1977, the World Championship was held in Luxembourg, and that was the first time ever Sweden participated. Here you can see the names of the contestants in the Swedish team. The Swedish newspapers showed some interest in this rather unknown sport in Sweden. Anders was also mentioned in the British newspaper as he travelled to Britain to learn more about angling. Lars Fredlund, one of the Swedish anglers, qualified for the individual final. In those days the team match was on the Saturday and the best competitors in each section were allowed to fish the individual final on the Sunday. The text to this picture says the competition was seen by about 5000 spectators. Here the excitement is on top as only 15 minutes remain of the match. Joseph Quinet from Belgium who ended up in third place individually is observed closely by his compatriots. This year's world champion John Manil from Belgium is unhooking one of his 31 roaches that won him the gold. In total he caught 3910 grams which makes the average weight of the fish 126 grams. Not very big fish. Former world champion Ian Heaps from England shows the heavy ammunition for the pre-baiting. Balls of clay with bloodworm. I guess that these section results are from an English newspaper since the English names are highlighted. How many of these names do you recognize? You can see the results from the team competition here. Here is a nice picture of a 21 year old Anders getting help from local angler Roland Hoffelin who was helping the Swedish team. Roland could actually speak Swedish, Anders told me. And now, 44 years later, Anders is in the national team for the fifth time. Isn't that an amazing career? There on. Fin. After two days of practice, we think that the Skardala wants bait going in often, like every cast or so. Either a small ball of ground bait or a sticky mag. We also think that the sticky mag is necessary to get the chub. Jävla fin! Personbösta! Ja, kul! Jag måste bara ta på den här. Jag tror så jag har slått PB då. Kanske va? 28. 20 då. 10 000... Ja, 10 och 2 typ. Så du väger den separat eller? Elva... Eh, elva tio. Där ser vi den glada fångstmannen. <laughs> Le nu Marcus! While we were fishing today, our captain was having a look at some of the other teams. The other teams seemed to fish more or less the same as we did, feeding often on the pole or fishing the bolo just outside the pole line. He saw some teams fishing the slider further out, a method we hadn't yet tried. I have met the VMs, the Tider, det är när man sitter och knyter tackel.